Peace, love, and light. Healing through inspiration. How y'all doing? It's a great grand those day. I here gonna show you guys how to make some aloe vera oil. Good day. <sighs> All right. Got my aloe vera. You know, I already used it. So that's why it's cut. But you know, you usually want to start off from the uh, the skinnier part of your deck. And then what you want to do, you want to... I got the camera one hand. Get a cut right here. Cut this side. Cut these sides down because it's got these prickles on the side, you dig? You know what I'm saying? And cut the other one right here. And we're going to cut that. And then uh, we're going to have... And then we're going to cut this into... Slice, I'm going to slice this right here and slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it. And then we're going to put it into a blender. You're going to see. And then, but the thing is, too, you want to notice is that when you measure this and measure it, you want to have as much as aloe vera you cut up, as much as uh, aloe vera you cut up into the measurement. This is the same amount as the uh, uh, olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil, you dig? You like extra virgin olive oil. That's what's usually made when you make the, uh, when you make your, when you make the, uh, I'm sorry, the aloe vera oil. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm over here licking this. But, um, all right, I got to pause so I can show you afterwards. All right, y'all, look at that. This part there, chin to the side, chin to the side. Now we about to chop, chop. Slice it up, slice it up, slice it up. Now I'm about to put this in a blender. Hey, you want to measure how much uh, aloe vera you have. Try to level it up. I got it in this jar. Even though, you know, it's not going to be necessarily accordingly because it's like cut up into pieces. You still want to get like the right. It's about, so like three cups, like less than three cups. So maybe I can go with two, maybe two, but it is liquid. It, is, it will liquefy and whatnot. I maybe go like with two, and I say two because the um the olive, the olive, the olive extra virgin olive oil, will. I noticed this when I've done it. It tends to be a little more as far as with judgment compared to the aloe vera, but you know you still want to go with half. You know what I'm saying? You still want to go with half. So just and then I know when I say half, I don't want to get you confused. So just just to like be sure you guys can go with the amount of aloe vera you have measured up. I'm sure you may have a better measuring cup. I have one, two in the blender, but I was just doing this as a precursor just to see. So I'm still going to show you guys when I put it in the blender. But do know there's a blade and whatnot at the bottom and whatnot, so that's it's going to affect it. Just want to keep it a buck with y'all. All right. What up, y'all? Uh, got it in the blender. And the blender came out differently because it's like differently shaped. And it's like I said, the, the, uh, the, you know, the blade is right there at the bottom. So it's stacked up differently, but it goes by ounces. I'm sorry. Can y'all see that? Um, let me see. How about that? Ounces on the left side and then cups on this side. And then pretty much the highest it goes up is to five. You see how it's different varied. So I'm glad I actually, you know, that wasn't a bloop, you know, but <laughs> I said a bloop, you know, it wasn't a blooper of uh, putting it up. On this side first, putting it up in the uh, actual immersion cup or the plastic cup, plastic bowl, I should say, beforehand um, of this. So I'm actually glad I did that because this would have been, you know, a five five cups compared to less than three, which is like about around two is a big difference in compared to how much olive oil we have to add up. So I'm actually glad. It'd, you know, it'd be great if y'all had a measuring cup, but, you know, still go out what we got, you dig? All right, so yeah, I'm about to blend this, okay? For the record, I just turned it on and stopped for a second, and I had to stop it. So, and it went down to four. I'm sure, let me see if y'all can see, because I got a flash. It went down to four, but, you know, still, like I said, it's still great to measure it. All right, it just finished blending. And that is up to, like, two Two uh two cups, you feel me? So I'm just gonna use that for the um olive olive royal, active version, olive royal. 
just so we get about the same measurement. Y'all see this right here? Right there, uh, the same measurement too. But make sure it's the same, you know, like I said, it's the same as your aloe vera. Your date. On to the next step. You want to put it in a pan. Make sure it's hot. This is, by the way, you know, so I was in a blender. It was the same, uh, same one when I had that aloe I blended in there, but it's all right. It's all going in the same place. Um, you want this? You want this to heat up? You want this to heat up? And you want it to get like, you know, clumpy. You know, it gets clumpy, but not too clumpy because you don't want the clumps. That's when the filtration is supposed to come into play. Um, and uh, then we're gonna actually uh, do the filtration to the strainer. Uh, we're gonna actually use the uh, oil that's left after that, and uh, be using it. We all see that in the future. I had the oil in there getting hot, really hot. Add this in there. It's the aloe. This is very, very hot. So, when I have it in there, you just want to stir it. Stir it very often. Like I said, I want it to get real, real clumpy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it gets clumpy. You know, but not too clumpy. But you wait till it gets clumpy. You guys know what I mean. Alright, so I just strained it. I just strained it to the filter. Put the pot down. I think I got a little bit more. Hold on. There you go. And here is it. When it is finito. Yay! <laughs> it's hot right now. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? As it gets a little cooler, you can put it in one of these. Sorry, hold on. This one I, I had, I poured, I finished the, the last one. I was one of these, and the hair dispensers, and the tip. And you just squeeze it, you can apply it to your hair and skin. I like the little nozzle. I like the little nozzle because, you know, you can apply it, like, if you unpart, you know, in between, like, where you part your hair. And when I end it still, you can just, if you want to just, like, pour it in your hand, you can just still do that with it. So it's really neat. I like that. But, yeah, go ahead and sign out with this one. You guys know if you guys want to book a consultation, you can do that by uh, by sending us a DM on Instagram at Healing Through Inspiration. If you're not following us there already, or you can just email us at uh, info at Healing Through Inspiration with the subject consultation or coaching or whatever the subject matter pertains to what you want consultation with. Uh, you know, check out the stuff in the description box. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, daily uploads. Peace, love, and light. Forgot. Share this, too. I forgot. Don't be telling y'all. Share this. Share this with somebody who needs it. All right.